your first alert weather with forecaster Steve Gannon. Still looked like winter in Teton Basin this afternoon, didn't it? But by this evening, the snow's letting up. Sun's actually coming out on some of the higher elevations. And Idaho Falls is enjoying a blustery afternoon. Most of the snow from last night and early this morning has melted off because of 45 degree temperatures. But wind speeds are up to 28 miles an hour. See all that snow and all that rain? It's sagging south into Utah. In fact, if we zoom in a little bit, you'll see there's a little activity around Star Valley, a little more south of the Blackfoot Reservoir towards Soda Springs and down toward uh, old Cache Valley. But by and large, most of the shower activity is over. What about temperatures? Well, they're tolerable. I've seen worse this time of year. I've seen better. We got 50 degrees in Salmon. We've got some 50s down in the Magic Valley as well. 40s up and down the Snake River Plain, not counting Pocatello's 38. And wind speeds, yeah, they've picked up in the last little while. Idaho Falls at 28 miles an hour, 19 miles an hour in Jackson, 23 miles an hour in Mackey, hence the issuance of that wind advisory until about 10 o'clock tonight. But see how all this storm system sagging south? And once again, watch the circulation. New Mexico up through Colorado, into uh, Wyoming, down through Utah. That's the same thing we had over eastern Idaho last night, only on a much smaller scale. And after a few scattered high country showers tonight, look what happens to Thursday morning and Thursday afternoon and into Friday morning and into Friday mid-morning and into Friday afternoon. All right, we're going to stop the bus at 5 o'clock Friday night and show you there's a little high country rain shower activity thanks to some warmer temperatures, some snow in and around the Jackson area. But as we fire things up again and go from Saturday into Sunday, yeah, another disturbance starts to slide down the area Saturday midday and afternoon. But by Sunday morning, with the exception of those southeastern showers, we're mostly dry. Remember, wind advisory until 10 o'clock tonight from the Clark-Jefferson County line south to Blackfoot, east toward Ryrie, west over to Tomcat Summit. But things are making some improvements as far as temperatures are concerned. Let's check them out. Still 16 tonight in Stanley. That's a little cool. So is 21 in Mackey. We warm, <laughs> I use that term loosely, to 26 degrees from Idaho Falls north to St. Anthony and Burley. Nearly shirt sleeve weather at 30 degrees tonight for an overnight low. 24 in Lava, 24 in Pinedale, 25 in Afton, 23 in Jackson. And high temperatures tomorrow, they'll warm a bit. 50 degrees in Jackson, 52 in Afton, 58 degrees in Malad. Again, shirt sleeve weather for Pocatello, American Falls at 60 degrees. A couple of 59s at Burley and Blackfoot. We got some mid 50s as well north from Idaho Falls to Rexburg and St. Anthony and a close to 60 degree reading forecast for salmon. We'll see a slight weather disturbance roll through on Saturday and Sunday. There's a chance of some Saturday showers, a breeze on Saturday, and then a cool down from temperatures on Saturday to temperatures on Sunday. But it's not a big storm. It's not a real probability of clouds and showers. You'll see 60s pretty much across the board once we get past tomorrow. There's that little disturbance possible on Saturday for the upper valley. It's only 20% chance for Idaho Falls and Rexburg. Be a bit breezy. A slight temperature drop from Saturday to Sunday as well. Things recover, though, for Thursday. Central Mountains don't see any showers for at least the next week. At least the forecast doesn't show any showers. Nice mild Friday. And our high country in and around the national parks. There's a bit of a shower activity for Saturday and then basically for the rest of the week. But you'll notice it's only a 20% chance of showers. So I don't know that I'd bet the ranch on you're getting wet, but certainly a possibility. <laughs> All right.